Hi right, everybody, I'm going to be going over the grocery industry's innovations and future threats. For the longest time, the easiest way for grocery companies to advertise was to send their promotions straight to their potential customer's mailbox. Using newspapers and catalogs, the grocery stores were able to display to their customers coupons, sales, and the products that they were selling. However, it is a very costly activity because the page and pictures need to be large and colorful to appeal to the consumer. The average price for a colored piece of print paper is about 15 cents in the United States. So grocery stores are spending a relatively high price in this method and it might not be paying off. Oftentimes these catalogs are thrown away on arrival. So to cut back on waste, companies are using apps rather than paper. Just like how the newspaper industry is dying and they are now using electronics rather than print to stay in business. With the grocery app, the user can conveniently view the material advertised at any time they want without having to worry about the content being destroyed from wear and tear. Apps like NFL Players Association, PBS for iPad, and The Motley Fool paid a price of about $150,000 to $450,000 for their apps. So depending on the population of the grocery store's target market, they could be paying about this same price. Companies like Amazon are taking over the product selling industry because of their convenience and vast selection of products. Grocery companies in China are stepping into the same business of e-commerce for the same advantage. Yi Haodian has created a virtual world for shopping through their apps. Customers track the virtual store locations to parking lots or parks where they can shop and roam through simulated aisles. They point their phone around and find the product they want and when they do they click on it and it is added to their cart. They pay there and then the groceries that they have selected are delivered to their home at a later date. So it's an app similar to Pokemon Go. Asta is a grocery store company based out of England that uses a reverse process to Yee Haodian. Using the company's website, a person can place an order then pick it up at a temperature controlled locker, removing the need for clerks. These technologies are hard to compete with, so brick and mortar companies like America's Kroger grocers are inventing new ways to keep their customer base. They use infrared cameras in their stores that detect body heat in order to determine how many customers are in the store and how many registers need to be open to minimize the checkout line's wait time. They are also going through a trial period with smart shelves which can connect to your smartphone and display and compare nutritional facts as well as value facts compared to other products. This drive to keep brick and mortar locations in business is a worldwide phenomenon. Russian inventors are working on a patent for drive throughs that can be added to grocery stores, increasing convenience for customers because they never have to get out of their cars. However, increasing technology in the store has, is not the only way to keep their customer base. Appearance plays a big role as well. Schnucks is a very popular grocer, and when a customer enters their store, the first thing they will see is typically the customer service desk, which is placed right next to their florist department and fresh produce. Customers are happy to enter their store because they are greeted by the friendliest employees of the store, and it is also accompanied by uh, a fresh scent, creating a welcoming feeling. Aldi, on the other hand, uses a more efficient approach when designing the layout of the store. Oftentimes when they receive a shipment, the products are placed on the store floor on the same crates and in the same packaging as when they arrived. This convenient method seems to be failing because currently they are in the middle of a rebranding, switching to all organic food, suggesting that their previous ways were not attracting customers. While the new technologies in the grocery industry are exciting, 
hopefully brick and mortar locations can continue to innovate and keep their customer base because this will save thousands of jobs. That will conclude the innovations and threats of the grocery industry.